Okay, so if you like to try to solve unusual and challenging math problems, well, this is the perfect little question for you. And uh, the type of problem that we have here is something that you might see like on the SAT or ACT exams. And if you're not familiar with those exams, those are college entrance exams. But let's take a look at this question. It says, if we have an equation right here, so if this equation and we have an equation that involves the variable a, so it's parentheses 1 over a plus a and parentheses, and parentheses squared is equal to 24. So if this, then what is this thing over here equal to in value? And that is parentheses a squared plus 1 over a squared. All right, so there is enough information for uh, you to figure this out, but this is a multiple choice question. And let's take a look at our answer. So a is 14, b is negative 10, C is 8 and D is 22. Now, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, how can I possibly uh, solve this problem because I don't even get the question. Well, you know, this question is confusing. Okay, well, at least maybe for some of you out there. So uh, don't give up on it so soon, right? Like, you know, give yourself an, a chance to kind of think about it and figure this thing out. But uh, feel free to use a calculator. But if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the right answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so one more time, here is the problem. And, uh, you know, it is designed to be a bit confusing. So if you're confused or if you're like, eh, I'm not quite sure what's going on, well, that is kind of uh, the design of the problem. But uh, again, don't give up, all right? If you have some basic algebra knowledge, you should still be able to figure this out. But let's take a look at the right answer. The correct answer is D22. All right, now, if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face, an A plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence for being able to solve interesting and challenging and unusual math problems. So what I mean by unusual, it's uh, basically we just don't have like an equation here, like right, 2x plus 1 is equal to 9, solve for x. This is not a typical type of, let's say, math or algebra homework problem or something that you would even see maybe on a, you know, kind of like a chapter test. So you do have to think about this from kind of maybe a different perspective, but let's go ahead and get into the solution. And uh, if you didn't get this right, well, let's cover this right now. All right, so here is our problem. And it's kind of like a two-piece problem, right? So it says, if we have this, then what is this thing over here equal to? Now, let's suppose uh, the problem was uh, solve uh, this equation right here, right? So let's just forget about this for a second. And uh, this is a multiple choice question. You could be like, oh, well, I'm looking for what A is equal to, so I can just test these values, even if I don't know how to solve this equation, and figure out, you know, what is the right solution to this equation. But that's not the problem. And that's what makes this uh, question a little bit unusual. The problem is, hey, what is this thing right here equal to in value, right? So we know, we know that a squared plus 1 over a squared is equal to 22. So what do we, uh, you know, face with here? Well, our answers are really not going to help us too much. But, well, in some respects, you know, you could, you know, maybe say, well, if this is equal to 22, of course, you don't know that because I'm telling you the answer. But if you're looking at uh, the question, you're like, well, I really don't know what to do. Well, you know, that's, again, what makes this problem uh, a little bit challenging. So let's go ahead and talk about this problem right now and think about it from this standpoint. So if parentheses 1 over a plus a squared, or sorry, parentheses 1 over a plus a and parentheses squared is equal to 24, what is the value of this? Well, uh, what we have here is this variable a, all right? So, and of course we have an equation. So you might be saying to yourself, well, maybe we have no uh, alternative but to figure out what a is equal to, because if we can figure out what a is equal to, the numeric value of it, so maybe like a is equal to three, well, if we can solve this equation and figure out the solution, then we can plug it in over here and get the value of this expression. 
And really, that's what we're going to have to do because there are really no other good options. But uh, if you're out there and you're like saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Fam, I know another approach to this. Well, that is fantastic. Again, there's often more than one way to solve a problem. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, just follow this strategy. And that is let's solve for A in this equation and, and then get that solution. And then we can kind of plug it into here and get the right answer. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is going to uh, require some algebra. All right, so if our equation right here is equal to 24, what is the value of this thing? So step one is going to be solve for A in this equation because we do have an equation and uh, hopefully you know we have the algebra skills to solve this equation. But remember, okay, you have to, I'm giving you a big hint here. Uh, the question is, what is the value of this expression right here? A squared plus one over A squared. All right, so this is a big hint. And uh, let's go ahead and start this process now. So let's solve for A. And what do we need to do? Well, we have no choice but to expand this expression right here. So we have one over A plus A uh, in parentheses squared. So this means we'll take one over a plus a and multiply uh, by itself, right? That's what it means to square this. So let's do all this algebra and then uh, see where this problem takes us. But uh, let's take this next step and that is quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, if you enjoy mathematics, but some of you are like, hey, what are you talking about, Mr. YouTube Math Man? I don't really enjoy math. I just come to your channel just to try to figure out how, you know, how to do my homework or get ready for a test. Well, that's perfectly fine as well because my channel is all about trying to make math clear and understandable. But I need your help in order to reach as many people as possible. That's just not going to happen on its own. And YouTube really does uh, consider how many people, you know, subscribe to my channel. So it really does help me out. And hopefully you might be saying, all right, Mr. YouTube Math Man, just so you can get to the rest of the solution here, I'm going to subscribe and I'll be like, perfect. Uh, but make sure you hit that notification bell as well so you can get my latest videos. All right, so let's go back over here before we really get into this problem. And I want you to focus on the question. So we have this equation. So one over a plus a squared is equal to 24. What is the value of this thing right here? What is the value of a squared plus one over a squared? All right, so let's go ahead and get into this algebra right now. All right, so here is what we need to do. We need to multiply these two binomials. So we're gonna use the FOIL method, F-O-I-L, first outer inner last. So we're gonna multiply this times this, that's the first terms. And then we're gonna multiply the outer terms and then we're gonna multiply the inner terms and then the last terms. Now, if there's anything in here that you don't understand from an algebra perspective, check out my full main math courses. You can find links to those in the description of this video or check out any one of my 3,000, well, not any one, but I have like 3,000 videos on my YouTube channel from basic math to more advanced math. And I'm pretty sure I cover how to multiply uh, polynomials and binomials in some of my videos. Matter of fact, I don't even, I've done so many videos. <laughs> I pretty much covered a whole wide span of things. But if you want my best instruction, check out like my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. All right, so let's go ahead and do this multiplication. And we'll take it nice and slow because we do have some fractions here. So 1 over a uh, times 1 over a is what? 1 over a squared, right? So that's 1 over a times 1 over a. So we're multiplying fractions. That's 1 over a squared. All right, so 1 over a times a is what? Well, 1 over a times a over 1 is going to be 1, right? So we're going to end up with a over a or 1. So 1 over a times a is 1. Okay, so a times 1 over a, that's also going to give us a 1. And then a times a is going to give us an a squared. All right, so uh, that is the result of multiplying these two uh, binomials. We end up with all these terms right here but we have to continue to clean this thing up. Okay, so we have uh, one over a squared pl uh, plus one plus one, so this is obviously gonna be two, and then we have a squared is equal to 24. All right, so we'll add the one and one, so that is two, so we have uh, one over a squared plus a squared plus two is equal to 24. All right, so again, we're trying to solve for a, so let's go ahead and get uh, two on the other side of this equation. And we'll do that by subtracting two from both sides of the equation. And when we, uh, when we do that, we get one over a squared plus a squared is equal to 22. 
All right, so let's continue, but uh, actually let's stop, and this is where this problem becomes very sneaky, and you might be saying, what are you talking about, Mr. YouTube Math Man? Uh, continue on so we can solve for A. Well, really, we don't need to do anything, and you might be saying, what are you talking about? Well, this is the answer uh, to our question. Okay, remember, the question is, what is the value of 1 over A squared plus A squared? Okay, well, we just figured it out. Uh, this is equal to 22. So let's go back to this question again, and I was trying to give you a hint on it. So here it is. So if uh, 1 over A plus A squared is equal to 24, what is the value of this thing, A squared plus 1 over A squared? So we kind of have to be on the lookout for this expression, and we found it way over here, or we found it as we're going through these steps, we kind of stumbled upon it. We're like, hey, wait a minute here. This is 1 over a squared plus a squared. We don't really need to continue to solve for a because uh, this expression is equal to 22. All right, so what is the whole point of this problem? Well, the point of it is that in mathematics, you're going to come across you know, unusual type of, of situations, okay, especially for those of you that still have to take exams like the SAT, ACT, or any, you know, uh, creative, you know, uh, type of an exam, uh, let's say a math placement exam, it doesn't make a difference. If you're taking some sort of math exam and if you have a good teacher constructing those exam exams, they're going to challenge you on some type of problems. In other words, not everything is going to be so straightforward. But uh, in this problem here, you really have to focus on the question, okay? And that is a big part of figuring this thing out is focusing in on what the question's asking. Well, we obviously we're, we have an equation here that involves A, but really the question is, is what is this expression equal to? So if we can find this okay, expression by doing the algebra to try to solve this uh, particular problem, then obviously we can figure out the answer. And here is another bonus tip. Oftentimes on these exams like the SAT or ACT, uh, these problems are not designed for you to do so much work. In other words, uh, to solve this problem, it might take a whole bunch of steps. That's generally, you know, if you're facing a problem and it, it looks like, boy, I'm going to have to do a ton of work in order to figure it out, that's almost a perfect hint that that strategy is wrong. In other words, uh, you should look for another kind of approach because typically, Problems like this are not asking you to do all the work, all right? So you really do have to be on the alert uh, for these type of problems. But the only way you're going to get better is to do two things. One, improve your math skills, your algebra skills, and then take a ton of uh, practice tests, okay? For example, if you are studying for the SAT or ACT exam, you need to take you know a lot of practice exams and do a lot of practice questions for these uh, type of style of math questions. All right, but uh, hopefully this little video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.